you got a couple different options here on the lap. Three different carries. Two of them identical, just different ways. Third one's different, uh, uh, separate. So when I'm here as the, as the rescuer, I'm now determining how this patient's coming out. When the pregnant lady, like, both legs are going over the shoulders, that was it. That is the way. Yeah. It puts us in control, gets them out, and that person wakes up, pin them to the ladder yeah. if I needed to. Like, there's not much they can do to come off. And then that patient, you know, the, the patient bedside manner at the bottom, right? We're just boom to that one knee, flake, flake, let their butt come here, and then I just pull out and let them yeah. hit the floor. So this would be the orientation of my head to the wall. So I've drug him through the house, his head hits the wall, now I'm here. It's like, okay, well, how do I get him out? I, I can't pregnant lady him, because obviously that's the other way. We just learned this one. So I need to figure out a different way. So this is going to be a back foot. This one here, I'm reaching in that window, one rung higher. I'm reaching in, grabbing those legs. Now I have the determining factor. Do I want to split and do basically a reverse pregnant lady, but capture on my knee? The other option is I sidestep. Throw the legs over one side, left or right. That's why I say it's identical. It's just. It's not, it's different. We get here, and now it's like, all right, we're gonna backflip. So he knows, same thing. We came to the window, it's like, pregnant lady. He's like, cool, I know, shoulders even with the sill. I'm just staying here waiting. But now I come to rescue, I'm like, hey, backflip. He's like, great, he steps up one, arms are ready to go, because now as soon as these legs go up, he's gotta reach in and grab the legs. We're done with those. Because now, we're just worried about the max. We have to bring our courage to work today. Like. Tie one on and go. If not, then this ain't happening. Because any little movement, if we drop our victim, he is now critically injured. You're making the call. We're not going to tell you, hey, we're giving to you right. We're going to, like, I don't care. You do what you do. Because all we're going to do is simply lift him and then follow his legs. So whichever way his legs go, we're going. You're making that call as the rescuer. Cool. That's it. Ready? Yes. Lift. Perfect. So if you guys didn't see that, I love what he did. Immediately swam his arms back, so he's good now. Like, I can stick here for a minute. We can, like, okay, you good? Yep, you good? You get, yep, go ahead. He starts dropping one down as we start transitioning out. And then this elbow, or this armpit, is gonna go on this arm. So we're just gonna easily, gently lay him down. And you got him. I let go, back to my beam with my left. My right swims back in and up his butt. It's important this is the way though, because you guys will see it the first time you screwed up, like this is gonna be weird. And you'll understand why. Because you don't catch the legs. I'm looking to come through here, right? I want to capture his crotch on my forearm. So if you don't swim away and come back and go through, you end up twisting the torso. And you'll see it the first time you do, like, oh, this is weird. And you're like, I got it. I can't teach it until you fail at it. And you'll see it. And it's the same both ways. Like if I go this way, back to the beam, swim out, come back. Uh, so as the rescuers, that's my favorite spot because now he's less vulnerable. I've got him off the ground. His belly is now up here. So I'm like, good. His neck's good. I'm not worried about hurting him. So now I've got to slowly transition that off to the side. So if the legs went right, the torso goes left, vice versa. And we just lay that armpit on the other arm, upper arm, forearm. I like to go down, arm staggered a little bit because where's all the weight right now? Left side, right, because my shoulders, my head, my upper body, all my mass here is right here, so it's more concentrated between where my arms and my legs are kind of dangling, and I'm captured. So I don't have to worry about it. I don't want to go down like this with his head here because then he can come out, but I really don't want to be flat either because if I go this way, I've got more control. His body's locked onto this arm. I know he can't come out, and I've got him. So if you go legs left, right arm's a little higher, and you're just riding the beans. Same thing, when we get to that bottom, it's just that transition here. I let his body lay on my leg, and I just kind of lay out and let him gently to the ground. Don't limit the window lift to just a, it has to be done in a window. We're dragging a victim, it's like, oh shit, I hit the couch. Like, okay, no, like, up and over. Right, out of the box. Where else can this come into play? This is not the limitation. We call it window lift because that's the bread and butter, the pregnant lady, like, two in the morning, I gotta get this unconscious victim out, down, and safe. But again, if it's in the house, dragging it through the bedroom, down the hallway, it's one of us, like those things, we can use any of these lifts and, and work ourselves around and flip them around and go.